Hello everyone and welcome to how to do basic text animation using Adobe After Effects brought to you by eVideoHow.com. This is the first and hopefully a series of videos using Adobe products, mostly Photoshop, After Effects, and Premiere, which are the video and photo editing stuff. But I'll also probably do some Dreamweaver tutorials. If you guys have any suggestions, just contact me. There are lots of ways to do so. Now we're going to start off assuming that you have After Effects open and you've already created a project and a composition to work with. And I've also created a black solid as the background. Now you're going to start, right click the empty area, click new text. In this case, we're going to use eVideo How is the text, because that's my website. Change the font, the color, all that jazz over here. Also change the size. Uh, but I kind of like how it looks right now. And now, to actually animate this, I'm going to open, click this arrow over here, and click animate. And let's, we're trying to create like an introduction here. So we want the text to not be there to start with, and then kind of come in, and maybe move around a little bit, and then disappear. So that's how I'm going to show you how to do. So we're going to start, let's put in opacity, which is how much of it actually appears, and then we're going to add property uh, rotation. And we're going to also add property enable per character 3D, which allows you to choose three different directions of rotation for your text. Now the way that After Effects actually animates things is that you choose the keyframes, which are the start and end, and After Effects fills everything else in. However, in order to do so, you have to click these little stopwatches over here, which tell After Effects, put a keyframe here, and I'm going to start animating. So let's say we have that done, and we want our text to start invisible, so we're going to set the opacity to zero. We're not going to do that first. The first thing we're going to do is we want it to kind of rotate in. So you can kind of play with the sliders. Let's say, okay, and my text is down here. That's kind of coming forward. We can have it each... Say we're going to flip it over almost 180 degrees. And the Z rotation is like that. That's kind of cool. And then we're going to also set the opacity to zero. So now it's invisible to start with. So let's move our slider over here to five seconds and set the opacity to 100% and all of our rotations to zero. So now it's in its normal position. And so if you look real closely, you can watch it come into play, which is kind of cool. If you go back to the beginning, press the space bar to watch it in real time. So that's kind of cool. Alright, so kind of created our text to begin with. And now let's say you want our text to move around the screen and change color as it moves around and then fly off the screen at the end. And then it'll kind of move into the next area. So we're going to hit Add Property Position and Add Property Fill Color, RGB. And once again, we're going to click the stopwatches on both of these and start with the fill color of white. All right, let's say we want every second we want it to move around. So we're going to head over to six seconds here, and you notice the position starts at zero 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 which is the initial position that you set the text at. And we can choose, let's say we want it to be yellow, we'll kind of move up the spectrum. And then if we have this selected, we can move it over here. Let's move it over here for the position. I wonder if that didn't work.
And that is not Okay, so Okay, you actually have to have it selected. For some reason I didn't realize that. So let's try this again. Well, anyway, we'll just put the position down there. And at six seconds, we can put the position over here. And then let's say at seven seconds, or at nine seconds, we actually want to put it back to zero. And you can do so by doing this. But let's say at each one of those, we want the color to change. So we can head back over to here, change the fill color, let's make it green this time. And over to here, and let's make the fill color blue this time. Just kind of switching it around. And head back to the center, and change the color to red. And then finally, Actually, it's not going to head back to the center. I moved it down. And so let's say at 10 seconds, we just move it off the board. So let's go to position again. And you can kind of slide over and you can see, oh, that's off. So put it there. And we'll also change the color back to white at the same time. So let's watch our animation. So you can see what happens. Kind of cool. You can watch it in slow motion and look at different frames, add in keyframes, or add in other effects if you really want to, such as skew and scale, make it bigger, smaller, stuff like that. Okay, thank you for watching this video. To watch this video and all my other videos in high quality, please visit my website at www.evideohow.com.